We are going to Jamaica. Yeah! <laughs> Finally aboard it! And we're on the front We're on the front row, <laughs> Some rice and peas and chicken. What's peas? Or what? And some pasta. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey y'all. Good morning. Today is Thursday. The party and party. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't want to do it making that time. I'm sick. Oh. Good forgetting. So, uh, Jay is here, y'all. Have you had curry goat? goat? Yeah, I like it. You like goat? Mm -hmm. You can eat the curry goat and that. And that? Right? Is that kind of rice and that? Yeah. Girl, curry goat and rice and peas, what are you It's curry goat and rice and peas in name. No, no, no. But curry. we don't mix, we can't mix curry with, with this and this. Why not? It just don't mix. It don't mix. Why do I don't mix? <laughs> Why are idiot? Put some gravy on the rice. Mix up the gravy and the pasta and the meat and eat the something. But this, this and this? Yes. You know you need one plate? <laughs> <laughs> Jay, put the pasta on the rice, right? And the chicken, and the, not the chicken, the curry goat. Alright, alright. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's Welcome to another vlog. If you are new, I am Shani. Oh my god, I want to sneeze. Please subscribe to the channel, comment on this video, like this video, just interact in the comment section. Um, today is travel day. We are going to Jamaica. I'm currently waiting on the lift. I don't know what's taking it so long from because I said I reach here 7:40 something. Now we're almost eight o'clock and it's still not here. I wanted to get to the airport for eight o'clock. I got my nagar is for 8 30. My flight is 11, so 8.30, 9.30, 10.30. I got two hours. I'm going to be there two hours prior to. I hope that's enough time because, because, I can't miss this flight. I'm not even going to speak it into the atmosphere, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. So, um, yeah, I'm not even seeing anything. Like, where is he? Oh my god. But anyways, I feel like my suitcase is a little overweight and I'm not paying for more than one suitcase. I'm not. This feels so heavy. I'm not gonna lie. Feels so heavy. And I don't know. Now I'm thinking if I should go for Dominic's suitcase. If I can bring my ring light in my bag, then that would make such a big difference, you know. I'm gonna have to find out if I can bring my ring light in my bag. I'm gonna have to take out the ring light and put it in my bag because the ring light alone is really heavy. Well, it's not a big ring light, it's just a panel light, and I know that weighs about 10 pounds. So, waiting on the Uber. The Monique is in the car, I was just sitting in the in the um back of it last night yesterday. I had such a bad, bad anxiety, I couldn't even record. I was crying, I was an emotional wreck. I'm gonna have to talk to you guys about that another time, but listen, yesterday was hard for me. Like one of the hardest times I've ever had since doing business. Like I broke down so bad. Like I feel like I'm just getting attacks over and over and over and over by people who, I don't know. I wanna say I'm innocent in the situation, but I just don't know how to even explain to you guys but good morning look at that plane up there where is it oh I will explain more on that at an at another time or another part in the vlog or something 
but yeah i'm just waiting on the uber right now i don't even know what to say i'll catch up with you guys later because my thoughts are just all over the place right now i will talk to you guys later oh that's what i got every day Man, I pray though I, the suitcase is not too overweight. Yes. <laughs> that I, I don't got no. Hey, I ain't paying no extra. We're pooping away too close today. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. Oh, if I have to pay extra, might as well have brought two suitcases. Yeah. Thank you so much. Your wow. bag. Can you manage it on your back? No. Put it on. You chicken. Oh, I didn't close the door. <laughs> Sorry. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Come go. Mm? Go in. You know that door is automatic, right? You know it's automatic, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me ask this lady. Hello. Hi. Come right now. Yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> that was hard for you? Okay, I'm sorry. Hmm? You were sad? Yeah, I know. I told you I was playing with a baby. Yeah. Okay. But whatever go, go, I did, go. the baby did it. So we are now waiting to board. Cheers. Cheers. You like that, right? You like it? So I'm drinking a um, chai latte. And is it chai latte? No? Yeah. No, it's a latte. Um, it's a latte. Yeah, I'm drinking chai And this is a pineapple refresher. Yo. You know what? They could My... they should call pineapple refresher. Well refreshing. <laughs> My suitcase was overweight by eight pounds. And I tell you anxiety started taking me again because I started taking out stuff. I still have some scrapings from the rubbings over here. It looks so disgusting. But um I was trying to take out some stuff. To put in Dominic's bag. Dominic bag we are 13 pounds. When I wait now, so like put it on the plane, but we'll wait because more sit much up in Dominic bag. I had to take out a bunch of stuff, put in Dominic bag. Still overweight by four pounds. I have to end up to cut one lotion, to cut my little spray on my car, my body spray, my body guess my look back, look back for that guess body spray for Dominic. Take it on the mode and my rest and my body oil. They have one look up tips about it. Come say I buy nothing for bringing up because I'm not really depend the whole of spending on whatever. So them trees up them I forget the lady with, with, with them, um the downstairs at the at the bag area. I have to take out some stuff, put it in my bag and I say my bag pack up. The lady tell me say one pants we are one pound. One pants we are one pound. The one lotion, the spray, you kick over your juice. And the and the little bottle 
wear three pounds three pounds and then finish up where do the the the, the the forms for immigration even this i'm start getting nervous but i start getting like anxiety again because may i say someone something that like, i do my food to do this i took out the bag but when i realized the girl born in times until 10 something you're still early but me know said so them stopped it back at a certain time so i start getting nervous now again and anxiety start kill me again because may i say you know the whole thing of missing the flight and everything i just don't want to go through that again and i just felt like i was you know, I don't want to speak it into the atmosphere or anything, but I just started to have that feeling like, no put on a roll on this morning, damn. Hmm? Put a roll on this morning? No. Me. Yes, no put a roll on this morning? Then she do anything. I was just sitting on the couch. <laughs> oh my God. I, I Listen, I think I'm going to see a therapy. Like, I must see a therapy for me? Yeah, I must see a therapy for me. No, for me. I'm going to for me i am going to have to start getting some from a therapy because... When I tell you anxiety is, is I, and I'm praying against it. Last night I was going to sleep, and like I was, the, the anxiety was just there again. And when I scroll on Facebook, on Instagram, I saw this lady singing, say you know, singing to God, say get rid of the anxiety, turn off all the other noises in my head, and just you know, speak to my heart. And then that's what I started doing. Like that 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 video came right on time because when I was going to bed, like my, my head was hurting from yesterday. I'm having a headache, and last night. I started praying. I said, God, I pray that you may just silence all the other voices in my head and just speak to me. And literally, I'm not even going to lie. I don't care what nobody want to say because my God is a true living God. When I tell you, the moment I started saying that, my headache just disappeared. And I just felt this breeze just passing at my hairs and over my face. And I, I suddenly became so calm. I fell asleep and I'm like I was literally just saying before I fell asleep I was saying thank God thank you God thank you I'm just saying thank you because you don't know I don't know how comes I start having anxiety problems yesterday anxiety took me so bad when I, I realized that I couldn't get to like complete those orders and every time this something happens is like I have to be calling my friend from Trinidad because she's the only one I know is available that I can talk to to like you know tell me what to do this client yesterday as well like I tell you like I've been getting attacks this client yesterday she sent me a blonde picture right and when I went to the beauty supply store I sent my friend in Trinidad I said which of these blonde match with the one that she sent me it's number 30 that matches number 27 that matches with it but for some reason i forget to buy the braid in here to match with it number 27. excuse me so when i reached home i was like oh my god i didn't even buy the braid in here that matches so i messaged her at the same time and i said i didn't get to buy the braid in here but i have a human here and i have a different shade of blonde that could be used for the braid in here and she was like it doesn't even matter because my hair is black so whatever color you mixes it should be fine i'm okay with it tell me why this woman know in my message telling me that oh can i get the color that you didn't that you forget to get when you come back and i was like sure but i'm trying to clear up to her that it's not the human here that's the problem that i not, not even the problem that, that i forget it's the braid in here so do you want me to pull out the entire head and put in the color braid in here that matches with the blonde? Or she's saying, oh, I wanted a darker color blonde here. And I'm like, the picture you sent me is not a dark blonde. So what are you trying to say to me? And I'm trying to explain to her. And then she says, never mind. Forget what she move on with life. She start text again. Can I, she's saying, can I just take out the, the human here? I want a darker, a, a darker color blonde, a darker blonde or whatever. Can I just take out? The, the, the curly hair and then put a darker color in my head i'm like does this woman understand that she has to pay all over whatever she wants to do she has to purchase the human hair all over and this was the issue with her from before she paid for extra care and all those stuff and then she didn't but i wanted she wanted just a simple the simple whatever oh it looks when it comes to colored hair colored human hair if i don't put in a lot of it it look thin because after all the process that it goes through is not as full as a black hello yo move now it's not as full as a black hair you feel me 
and I tell you, like, I, I, I just don't know. Like, I feel like I'm at my breaking point with clients, and I know it's a devil. Like, the, the devil always tries some way to get at me because I wasn't having this problem before. And you know, when it, what, what's the devil's sister? You're serious about your Christian life, and you're serious about certain decisions. He just trying to find every single way to attack you. And I am trying not to let the devil get the best of me, but I'm at my breaking point where I just literally want to cuss them people. Yeah. Yesterday morning, as I get up, the nail text the, the nail tech, the guy who did the message me talking about, Oh, I don't text me, eh, don't please don't text me again. And I said, Huh, what early in the morning? What if you think you text me? And the member who responded to him, I said, Then you really feel like saying, After everything yesterday, I was really gonna book with you again with your poor customer service. Let me see him start type, but just block him, you know, we just block him. I blocked him because me I tell you, it's like since the other day my friend said to me, Shani, and I realized that every week from the other day is somebody else, somebody else. My friend from Trinidad said, Shani, you know, you need to pray, pray about this because this is too much. Like, it's the most attack I've ever received in, in, from so much people, like back to back. Oh my God, it's overwhelming. I'm sick and tired of it. Mommy. Huh? How are we gonna get in the plane? Yeah. I'm honestly so tired of this. I'm not gonna lie. It's the first I'm doing business and I just want to like shut down. I want to shut down. I want to stop taking clients and I'll and purposely go look at work. <laughs> I don't know. Cause it look like I'm my trial and tribulation this. Uh, this 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 am my trial and tribulation right now. But just here is <laughs> we don't see Kai Kai in a few hours. Let's... The lady is texting right now, and I'm saying, you know what? Honey, just focus on your trip right now. Focus on your trip. Focus on your trip. Do not let that devil. And I'm trying to block out. I tell you guys, so just block out every other voice out, out of my head because I don't have time for it. I am not the devil. I'm not going to let the devil win. I refuse to let the devil win. I refuse to let the devil win. What does confuse me? No, it's mean? not the time. What does confuse me? Mean? You will not allow. Yeah. I'm not the devil win. So I'm going to keep calm, chill be in the moment of this trip right now anything else i tell myself there are certain things i'm just i'm gonna start blocking any i tell myself you know anything that's that's affecting my space my mental health my relationship with god i'm blocking blocking deleting everything blocking deleting i am not doing this not doing this but last week it, it was somebody close to me somebody that I've been trying to just keep a good relationship with them for the sake of my child you know trying to be that you know the grown mature person not trying to ask them that away or you know bash nobody just not nah, try to tear down nobody whatever life is life with everybody and just give people grace I'm just trying to give people grace and this person challenged me the other day at last week and I say you know what I am cutting you out of my space you are not worth it that was last week was it last week sunday no sunday gone sunday gone today uh, today, uh, today uh, wednesday sunday mm -hmm. it happened and i said you know what if anybody is causing me to rile up i want me to lash out and curse i am cutting you out of my life i am cutting you out and that's where it it got with that person and i am cutting him off period you do a visiting relationship with your child my child is not coming back there i have not said this before but at this point the space where i'm at right now i want to stay there anybody that doesn't contribute to my peace of mind i am cutting you out of my life no joke about it but anyways boarding will be in a few minutes let me see what time is it now Boarding is about 10 minutes for boarding. So I just finished my green. I will catch you guys later. Later. Bye 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 bye. We are going to Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs>
You want your wall, dude? Stop that, I'm serious. Stop it. I want you to add like. Secure my mask before I help you. I'm gonna be putting on In your mask before I put mine on. Landing, but it didn't happen. God forbid. First, hold <laughs> the tab to retrieve the life vest pouch from its container. Some right here. You're blocking me with your big head. You see them coming down? You know what that means? Um, ready to take off. Can you sit back and so look at the seat? My camera is recording out there. Let's turn on the light. Orange? Hmm? Orange? Orange? You have wings? Hmm? You have wings? No. What? What I mean about America, see you next time. <laughs> We're taking off. He bad, that's not your window either. Oh. If I was just right there on the grass, I would. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're going off now. Why are you on a bridge? Huh? Why are you on a bridge? <laughs> How are you know I'm on a bridge? You can see? Bridge. Yeah, because you can turn back into your ground. The ground. Ground, ground. See the trees because yeah. there's white light at the top right there. You.
we are boarded and we're on the front we're on the front row <laughs> this feels we're good i think i I, oh. I feel like i'm driving mm -hmm. so we are still in montego bay the eat more sweet i'm gonna eat my next cake now you're gonna eat food why you open it Oh, we can lean back a little. Yeah, is this? this one. Look, which one? Which one? Oh, you lean it down. You press on this? Yeah. I saw this. Oh, you have to press on lean at the same time. I saw no, that. This one is Oh, I get it. You can lean a little bit. And you know, also, see you now listen? Wow. You know, listen. Oh I'm going to lick you. I'm going to have to talk to you more than one time. Are you still eating it? Wow. Right. Guys, we buy food. Right. Oh, oh, eat what you gonna eat? And don't slap me. What? Uh, <laughs> I said, and don't slap me. We need to have bed, man. <laughs> Some rice and peas and chicken. What's peas? Oh, and some pasta. Bathroom. A little bathroom break. Yeah. We should have to buy something, but we feel like it's too late now. By the time we go down, if we buy something, the bus probably drive off and left way. So, mm -hmm. we're just holding like a G to reach a new Kingston. Yeah! Could I move now? Mm. For, for the water, right? That, that Dominic chopped me out. Take two hours from, from my vehicle, so Dominic chopped me out. I can bet the last two hours already, not to sleep. I go sleep, right? <laughs> no. No. No, I can sleep already, really, I go sleep. If, if I don't sleep, I get $5 US. And if I sleep, I don't get it. <clears throat> what do you say? You can hold it out until I reach out. If I don't sleep, I get $10. $5. You don't get to negotiate. And if you sleep, you get zero dollars. Oh. If I if I stay up without talking, not you can talk. I don't care if you talk. I'm gonna shut you up. Mm. Wait, look at me, number boy. I might pull up my ear. Don't. Listen, <laughs> man. Let us aggressive more, man. Yeah, man. She's just a girl. <laughs> but you can't talk if I want to. Talk. No, I say don't talk. But if you stay up, you get five dollar. If you sleep. They get $0. Deal or no deal? Deal. Alright, my pussy. And let me show you and $5 more. Oh, I get 5 more thump. <laughs> I can get thump in the next 5. Make sure you add up $5 more. Dollars. Yeah, right, you know. Make sure. Make sure. Alright y'all, I'll check in the shower with a ton. Be supposed to come pick me up. I'm going to tell him to take care of Kai. I'm going to go and say, I'm not care of Kai. We can't see Kai when I reach home. I'm going to say, stop that now. I'm say, you're crazy. I'm going to see me pick me right now. Just as though you want to see me right now. I'm going to see me pick me right now. Yeah. Yeah, back up singer. Let's see you say. 
What season? What season? What season? Alright, welcome, singer. What season? Anyways, y'all. Talk to you guys later. This is my point. <laughs> it looks like it's a trend for me to be the last muddy out every time you come to Jamaica. Every time. I mean, the last muddy out here. Anyways, we got Kingston. Waiting on the boyfriend, baby daddy, kids daddy. Yeah. Yeah, backup singer to come and pick us up. We're last man, it was true again. But just to update Charles, let you guys know that we are now in Kingston after a very long uh, ride. <laughs> Long ride from Montego Bay. Yeah, I had a long fight. Is that Manala or Melissa? Mm -hmm. We need to stop buying the ticket from early so we can get cheap ticket to come to Kingston and stop with that mobile stuff. Because every time I see him, I'm tired. And I'm coming to pick up Kaika and Kaika asleep. So there goes that. We'll probably get KFC or something when we get picked up because I'm pretty sure that money must hungry or guests full way up or tired is full way up. But we have to get something to eat before we go up because not now get it if we eat. I feel for a cereal beer. I need a cereal beer. We're not gonna buy ice cream tonight. Tomorrow night tomorrow I'm gonna pick up Jay from the airport, my friend from Trinidad. So we're gonna get Devano's ice cream tomorrow evening. Or we can go tonight and tomorrow night. But I'm pretty sure we're not we're not going to, to know that Devano's got Kaya sleep and we have to go. Never knows when Kai is awake and every and everything. So, anyways, when we get pick up, I will check in with you guys. Later. But we are going to sit down and look out a space. Perfect land. Count how much people are coming here and how much people are leaving at the same time. We occupy our mind. Yeah. You see, if a job was slap me, slap your little on flat a ground hotel like mommy. I'm a frog. <laughs> I'm a frog. I'm not joking. Stop it. <laughs> I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Later. Well, however long it takes. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey y'all, good morning. Today is Thursday. Thursday, Friday. Yes, I'm blue. I'm blue. I'm blue. Yay, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yay. Watch your face. Can I look like Tiki? My name is. Today is. Thursday and we Thursday, are going Friday, into Friday, Saturday, yay! Okay, not unlimited. <laughs> we are going into Marant Bay. Baby's going to work, and unfortunately, I'm gonna have to drive back with these two kids. <laughs> Duh! I can't the front team. I go. So we're gonna use that time to get some breakfast, like get patties. Yes. Uh, back up singer. No? <laughs> yes, 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 so we use the time and get party, get something to eat and just come back and then I'm gonna leave out at about one o'clock to go Kingston to pick up my friend. What time is her flight reaching? Her flight will reach so it, it, it claimed to say it's gonna reach mostly one thirty five. I'm gonna turn that down or pause it. So I probably, I'll, yeah, I'm gonna leave about, leave about one o'clock. I leave about one thirty because by the time them go through and clear and everything, I really don't want to sit down at all. Too long away from her. So I'm gonna put that money pause it now. I'm gonna hear song um, copyright me. Then I'm gonna um, go check in at the Airbnb. And in the evening, I'm gonna have to come back and pick up him. So that's the plan for today. Of course, I'm gonna be recording. I uploaded a vlog yesterday, so it was Wednesday, and I'm in the middle of editing another. That one soon done edit, I think. That one is a birthday vlog. That I go up Sunday. Okay, let's go up Sunday. And then Wednesday, I'm gonna up one more vlog leave in of March for, 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 um, for post, and then we're done with March. At least I'm gonna be in April, in April. You know what I mean? So at least my finally 
no i don't have on my seat belt so at least my arm kind of caught up now with the videos so it never looked that bad y'all won't be getting vlogs one month apart anymore ain't got good anyways i will catch you guys my girl oh my god the sun up beating my baby mm -mm -mm. you know you see them suck me so early in the morning i'm gonna catch up with you guys in a little bit i feel blogging now as it what my insta talk i'm gonna say catch you guys later bye oh my god you gonna sit? You gonna sit down? Family. Oh, look at that. <laughs> because Trinidad is also one hour ahead of Jamaica so I feel like the one for 135 is gonna be actual Jamaica 135 because yesterday my flight was supposed to land at 1204 I think and then I land until 1230 something and when I was uh, in the here the time was I like one something and then you know by the time reaching the Jamaica region it was now 12 or something so you know i feel like it's gonna be the jamaica time for real so i'm just leaving out at one o'clock to go grab her behind this bad road i know some part of the road is still bad but i will check in with you guys as soon as i reach i feel like i'm gonna stop on the palisades i'm going by myself by the way the kids aren't here i was gonna take them with me but i changed my mind because i was trying to comb kai here but kai is sleeping kai fell asleep kai was crying kai was not having it so he fell asleep and then dominic wanted to stay because you know the kids are there and he get to play on something so he is not coming so i'm basically going into Kingston by myself Woo. oh my god friend call me hold on hold on hey y'all so we made it we're now at the airport and we are going to look for J I'm assuming, I don't think I'm going to go that side. I'm going to go over here because I'm now assuming that that side is probably for arrival. Like if I go pick up, no, like if I drop off people. So, I'm going to go. Why am I going to find two sides of the road I drive? 
Yeah, like drop off it probably over there, so. But I know she probably pick up there. I'm just going to go around here, so, and see if I can figure out where I should pick her up. My only no drop off at the airport. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know where to pick up because I've never like came here on a flight before. I always came Montego Bay. So oh I think around the so around the so so I guess me drive the right way. Let's see how this goes. Hope she out your son already you know Say my find me training that yeah I see that this one I'm black dress no I'm black dress you wear this one girl no Piper ear the so, hey y'all, so I am here. Y'all have just saw me driving in. I'm basically parked up outside of the um arrival. And I mean the crowd up this is still, but me I call them a guitar. I'm just you want to park not like in front of anybody or block nobody. So I came all the way down here. So let's see how long before she um she come out. My struggle now is Omega Drive to find the place. <laughs> Why? And I wanna go. There was this big construction thing that another road said I'm about to run about. So we can see the road good. I meet at the turn for go up um Port Royal. I said, no, sir, this don't look right. I have to turn back and come around that side there. Yeah. Company Airport Road, and if J1 couldn't drive, J not gonna drive, sure that. Like. But it always just to let you guys know that I'm here. When I find her, I will check back in with you guys. <sighs> so good for getting us. So uh, J is here, y'all. Oh, perfect. We are going across the street. Huh? to buy some Jamaican food. And time I come back off um, from St. Thomas J, we we'll buy the KFC. Yeah, we are gonna buy some food across the street because I gotta go back to St. Thomas to pick up um, babe. So, that's what's up. We want KFC, so when we come back, when we come back, we'll get KFC for her. I forgot to use. Better walk across the street because we try to do right there, so. So, I'm going to use the money we might have. I buy 5,000 lot of babe money. And put it back. So, we're going to walk over there. Buy some food. And come back. I can try and eat because babe said I leave work 5 o'clock so let's see if I'm really at leave work 5 o'clock I forgot to drive to go so far I'm going to send myself about 6 o'clock so I'm going to if I'm going to leave work or as you know I'm going to go home I'm going to wait, wait for me to come pick him up or what I'm going to take a taxi go home or I'm going to wait for me and work please but let's see how that goes yeah, we are gonna walk. Mm -hmm. Hey, YouTubers. Friend, I shit, Zana. Talk to my friend, Zana. Yeah, so that's what's up. Oh, the shot, you have to cross it. The river cross, what? Whoa, I didn't think it's only name, Jesus. <laughs> We have family for work, 5 o'clock. I'm not going to reach out um, um, 5 o'clock for pick him up. It's going to be almost 2 hours from... Depends on the traffic. Almost 2 hours from myself for pick him up. 4 o'clock. Yeah. Your phone have, have a time for out here? Because uh, children that one hour and the out here. Yeah, it's 5 o'clock. I will walk the I can 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 walk the I
We're long for eat. Are we want to try? Hello. We want to try, Jen. I have rock bun. I know, but you can buy like pastry stew. That's what I'm asking. You want fufu? Food, food food. I thought it's a fufu. Do you still love them, Marissa? I like it. Yeah, them tastes good. Yeah. So it tastes good. Yeah. All right, let's see what they have. Mm. Oh. I think that is cold food. That look like cold food. That look like curry gourd. That's all you guys have, them two meter? That's all you have, them two meter? And fried chicken? Hmm? 11 minutes? I don't want a chicken and chips. I don't want a chips. What you have, rice and peas? That's it, just rice and peas? Rice and peas. You don't want a rice and peas? What you want? You don't like rice and peas? You've never tried it? I don't like it now. You don't like what? Pilo. What is a pilo? That's what you call it? It's called a pilo. I don't like pilo. Pilo. But, but you've pilo. never had the Jamaican one though. You want to try it? Open it up and see. <laughs> no, I don't like no. You don't like that? So what are you going to eat? I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Yeah, it tastes good. I see can get this it tastes good. Hello? You never eat it from a Jamaican. You can't. And drink it from a Jamaican. So where can I eat that with? Like what? Like what? Like I can get the, the, the fried chicken if we wait 11 minutes and then we get some curry gravy. Have you had that? curry goat? You, you eat goat? Yeah, I like goat. You like goat? Mm -hmm. You can eat the curry goat and that. And that? Why? Is that kind of rice and that? Yeah. Girl, curry goat and rice and peas. Do you have to have one? Let's do curry goat and rice and peas. Oh, no, I'm not fresh rice. I just have only rice and ham. Just come on. And this one as what? No, what are you having here? You want to try the curry goat and the rice and peas? Let's do that. I'm going to buy one and I'm going to try it then. I'm going to buy myself curry goat and rice and peas. Here, try it. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. Go KFC later. I go house for dinner or something. Come to buy one and you try it before. I don't want for myself and then you try it. Uh, <laughs> I'm cash one for me. I want curry goat and rice and peas. Yeah. How much pay? Can you see the money? Uh, never buy five thousand dollars of shame money. I'm sitting in the car. Five thousand dollars. This is money. Yeah. Mm-hmm, I took it all. I can put it back. So it's a five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. You make a one in the body, you know? I had it. I had it. It's curry goat and rice and peas in name. No, no, no. But we don't make, we can't mix curry with, with this and this. Why not? It just don't mix. It don't mix. Why do I don't mix? <laughs> Poor idiot. Put some gravy on the rice. Mix up the gravy and the pasta and the meat and eat this up. But this, this and this? Yes. You know, you know one plate? <laughs> <laughs> Jay, put the pasta on the rice, right? And the chicken, and the, not the chicken, the curry goat. Alright, alright. That's good. I got your vehicle. Oh, hmm. You know, just good. You want one? You want one? But, what's the size of it? It's the fried chicken, so you want weight? You want a mix? Mix scoreboard with the fried chicken? I'm not doing so. When I have a smaller box, she want to mix with the fried chicken. I forget it, mix with the fried chicken, I forget this box. Huh? Yeah, you want to put one chicken with it? Does it taste good? Huh? Yeah, yeah. But can I get my 
Or what in the meantime? Yeah, this is my meantime. She wanna get this in the meantime and wait on the chicken. How much is it again? So fifteen hundred? Okay. Oh. Probably you should have gotten it without rum. Yeah. <laughs> but no one knows. No, I'll just do white duck and ginger ale. And it'll be fancy, you know, to be red in my life. Hey my loves, good morning, happy Friday. So I was just, last night we went out and we had some drinks and just chill a little bit. I just got off of, I was eating some overnight wings but not feeling it. Like I, I, can't, I can't only taste the spices but that's about it. I'm not really feeling it. So the guy over the other park is the two part house. He just brought some tambourines. He said it's sweet or they are sweet, so I'm gonna try one and see. Today we're going to Duns River. Um, they have one for the kids, so basically just waiting for him to come back. I'm gonna go up to my friend is so sleeping. I'm gonna go across the road and see if I can get some breakfast in the meantime. Because I think they already have breakfast. The food from yesterday, so she's fine. But I'm gonna go grab, grab breakfast and um. well, I'm talking about sweet. It's really sweet. Like, yeah. You never give a sweet tambourine. You know the few boys. I don't know. I'm not enough sweet. Mm -mm. I'm not feeling tough. I was looking for my iPod to check some messages and stuff, but it leaves not a care. So I'm just gonna hang around. I'm gonna breakfast here because my head hurt me and get some tea and stuff. So. As soon as me get up on the board, I will keep you guys updated. Mm -mm. Not in a sweet and bring. That I'm not sure. Gang is here, y'all. As we are now at Dunn's River, it's basically two o'clock. Rain is drizzling. Drizzling rain. Drizzling. I have to buy this. I have to buy shoes. Dominic had to buy shoes. Because, yeah. These shoes feel fine on me. These shoes. Okay, so we are going in so if we can take a bath before night because we're proper proper late proper proper we should a long time oh yes the entire day it's a non-resident ticket a resident ticket this is how we are close so we don't know but i want to spend alone did it the other one there Take off the glasses, take off the NRC good. I want somebody alone over there, sir. That means you get more than one pound of my phone. The person might just go sit down at the counter. Okay. Okay, get it, get it. We're going to get that ticket. But remember, we're paying for J tickets. 
Jay's taking her time strolling to the river as a real country girl. <laughs> yes, finally. Can you believe him? If I have the ID, you pay three thousand five hundred dollars. And if you have ID, you pay two thousand dollars. For one twenty US dollar. <laughs> You're not tourist area, Jay. Twenty-five. Twenty-five US dollar. Let's make the phone with hand done. <laughs> oh my God! Hey, hey, Kai, 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 Hey, hi, Kai, come back. Well, them have my one upper far in there with, with pay silver in there. Be a coins. Bar. Eh? Bar. What? Bar. 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 I'm going to go to the car. I'm going to change him. I'm going to change him. I'm going to change him. I'm going to kiss the section. Have a good day. See you. Bye. Bye. Mommy. Yeah. Go with daddy. Bye. What? No, I'm all of them directly. Oh, my God. And you want to just catch the bed. Probably down the bottom. Alright, that's a. Don't get them part there. I'm not going to be too fucking adventurous, you know. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Sorry. Come here, Nancy. Dummy's calling you. You calling Dominic? Kai Kai? <laughs> Call him. Say Dominic. Take a time. Say Dominic. Call him. Say Dominic. Guys, we are going back to the car. About to leave not me and Bruce bumping on the camera but yeah I'll go back at the car and I'll go put on some dry clothes so we can go back to Kingston 
and that's it for today basically because we ain't gonna do nothing for the rest of the night so i will catch you guys and i'll catch you guys tomorrow about clients so ah. what color is my tongue i don't know what color is your tongue i'm gonna be working Look. tomorrow i don't know what color is that so i will catch you and you guys later later bye <laughs> Say bye. Bye. Not you, baby. Not you. Not you. Bye. Tell him bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Tell him bye bye. Yeah, the panda. Mama. Did you miss Yeah, the panda. Season of my life in which I was not a son of the kingdom or a son of righteousness. I have a home was greater upon my soul than the grip of what my parents were trying to teach me. And I had to reflect on the life that I lived in Queens, far away from God, racking up body count and being involved in gang activity and selling dope at the age of 12 and running the streets and coming home with no sense of feeling remorse for the things I was doing, breaking in homes and robbing people at gunpoint. When I had to reflect on the two times I sat in a jail cell in the span of six months, turning 18 in Rikers Island prison, my mother and my father just doing anything they can to save me from the road of perdition, man. Packed up all my stuff and drove me to North Carolina. I knew one female there at a black college and left me in front of that black college with $50 and a black and white TV and said, son, you got to do your best on your own. We've carried you as far as we can. They would mortgage their house to put me in college for one year, and I would run into a group of dudes from New York far more worthless and far more ruthless than I was. They were older than me, and they dragged me into a life of deeper darkness than I knew in Queens. Man, drug trafficking between Miami and North Carolina, between Georgia and, and North Carolina, between all these places, trafficking drugs, gunfights in the middle of the streets. I had to reflect on the time a bullet grazed my ear and could have clipped me in the back of my head. I had to reflect on all the times I could have died driving home from the club drunk and making it to my apartment some way, somehow. I had to reflect on all the times, man, I could have been in a box before the Lord rescued me. I, I had to to reflect on all of this as I grapple with the text. I had to reflect, man, on the season, man, when my life was blowing up and I'm popular in this small town of Durham, North Carolina, running with these goons from New York, terrorizing every place we go. I had to reflect on the girlfriend I had in my time, who was this beautiful Blasian chick, the apartment we had, living together. I had to reflect on all of this and how she got into a car crash and came home, and because she was alive, she turns on gospel music and starts praising God. And for the first time, I hear gospel music. For the first time, I see somebody praising God in the circle. And I said, whatever that is, I want it. And I had to reflect on how that season, man. I was suicidal with one botched attempt and depressed on my soul. Luxury car and empty. Beautiful girlfriend and empty. Apartment completely furnished and empty. Popular in the city and empty. A tribe that nobody wants to fight with in the streets and empty. And I had to reflect on how I crawled into a bathroom on my hands and knees and cried out to a God that did not know existed. And how tears of sorrow in that bathroom turned into tears of joy as God revealed himself to me in that bathroom. I had to reflect on how when I came out of that bathroom, man, for the first time, I knew something had happened in my heart, although I could not describe it. I had no framework and no language for what I felt. I had to remember how I crept back into my bedroom that night to lay down with my girlfriend and how the first time I felt guilty for sexual activity outside of marriage. I had to reflect on how I told her, man, we can't live this way. She gets pregnant that night. I had to reflect on all of this. That my first child is conceived outside of wedlock. I had to reflect on how the very
every next day after I'm saved, man, I lose my job at the TSA. They drag me out of the airport in handcuffs and say, oh, you got a felony on your record. And because you lied on your application, you can't keep that government clearance. And I have to reflect how I'm sitting in a jail cell for the third time, but this time with peace. That although there are bars in front of me, there is a freedom I feel in my heart that for the first time I know what it is to have peace in the midst of circumstances that was not favorable to me. And I had to reflect on the season when we lived in North Carolina and now I'm saved and now she's saved and I remember walking my dog around the apartment. I hated that dog, but I remember walking that dog around the apartment. His name was Isaac. I hated him. Right? He, and I remember walking my dog around the apartment and be looking out into the sky and thinking, man, one day I'm going to be up there. I remember feeling, watch this word, joy for the very first time in my life. I remember what it felt like, man, to start reading the Bible like voraciously and studying the scriptures. And see, I'm seeing God in the scriptures and I'm feeling Jesus in the scriptures. I remember what it was like to go back to that bathroom and kneel down in that bathroom with my little scented candle, not sage, my scented candle from Walmart, not sage. And pray in that bathroom with no music. iPhone didn't exist yet. And I remember what it was to sit in that bathroom and pray and talk to this God and see him answer my prayers in my life. I remember what I feel like for the first time, I think that this being who I'm reading about in this book is actually listening to me in that place and responding to things in my life and saying, oh snap, this being that I read about in this book, he exists. No longer was he just a name on a page. He was a person that was moving in my life. And I would, I would ask him things in the bathroom and I would see them manifest in my life. Oh, God is real. Christ is his son. And I, I remember this feeling like, Lord, man, you found me in nothing. You, you found me when I was dirt. You found me when I was far away, when I was hopeless and had no help in the world. And, and, and all I wanted to do was love him and be with him and sing to him and serve him. And I remember falling in love with the church and falling in love with the scriptures and falling in love with brothers and sisters. And for the first time, man, I felt what it felt like to love human beings because I knew not love before that. I had a heart of hatred. I hated women is why I used them. And I trust no male. And I had this heart that was darkened. And for the first time, I felt love for brothers and love for sisters. And for the first time, I felt what it was like, man, to just love. Man, I was in love with Jesus. I was like, oh, snap. Watch, watch, watch. I'm in the kingdom. Oh, snap, I'm, I'm, I'm in the kingdom of God. I have access to these promises like, man, I'm a son of righteousness. My name is recorded in heaven. Right. And, and, and this is my story of having this, watch, awakening of the awareness of the power of the kingdom. And now I'm inside the kingdom and I see the beauty of the kingdom and the value of the kingdom. I have Christ in the kingdom and the father in the kingdom and the spirit in the kingdom and the word in the kingdom and spiritual family in the kingdom and meaning in the kingdom and purpose in the kingdom and strength in the kingdom and redemption in the kingdom. I feel life in the kingdom. I have joy in the kingdom. I have direction in the kingdom. I've been transformed by the kingdom. I'm like, man, this thing is the best thing I've ever had. And I reflected on this story, this text, this mirror of the word forced me to reflect on that season. Reflect on what God did. Reflect on my awakening, my salvation, my awareness of the value of the kingdom. This is my story. And some of you, you have similar stories or different stories, but you have some of you the story of coming out of darkness, whether in church, into the kingdom, or in the world, into the kingdom, and realizing, oh, snap, I'm in. I'm in the kingdom.
kingdom. And you begin to see the value of the things in the kingdom. You begin to fall in love with it. Your appetite change and yeah. your desire change. And you, you have new love affairs. And you start abandoning all lovers for the Lord Jesus Christ. And you love him now. And he takes your nature and he uses it for his glory. And no? Nobody has that testimony? Right? And, and, and this is some of our testimony. Family. It is this powerful reality that's sitting just underneath the surface of this text that forced me to reflect on this season, right? So I have to remind you, you recall that I told you just like there's war right now in the Middle East, we are in the middle of a spiritual war. You remember that? It is a war between two kingdoms. You remember that? The kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. You remember that? A kingdom powered by the devil and a kingdom powered by God. You remember that. You remember that they are in competition for the hearts and souls of men. You remember that. And you remember Jesus came to inaugurate, to bring into the earth the first iteration of that kingdom. Spiritual, not physical, in the hearts of men. Expanded in every direction from the first century until now. You remember I taught you that one day the kingdom of light will overthrow the kingdom of darkness and the kingdoms of this world will become the kingdoms of our God. And all of that is in the book of Revelation. And you remember I told you how Jesus came preaching the gospel. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And because he was rejected by the religious elite of the day, the pastors of the day, the Pharisees of the day, and the hardened hearts of men in a form of judgment, he will stop preaching publicly, clearly, and he will leave for us a archive of encrypted teachings we call parables. And you remember I taught you about the parables, and I taught you about having a biblical worldview, creation, the fall, which explains all of our suffering, redemption, the period we're in right now, God redeeming a yeah. tribe of people okay. unto himself, right, consummation, the end of all things, and new and creation, the end of the book of Revelation. Nobody's going to stop that. And I remember I told you that Jesus began teaching these parables. He starts off with the parable of the sower, and then the parable of the weeds. And in the parable of the leaven and the mustard seed, watch. And then Jesus would wrap up, finish this periscope, this section of parabolic teachings with these three last short, powerful parables. This is how he finishes this periscope of teaching Matthew chapter 13 and beginning in verse 44 he says to them the kingdom of heaven is like and I just want to say something about the words kingdom of heaven in other books Matthew Mark Luke and John other gospels you will see kingdom of God kingdom of heaven and kingdom of God are the same they are synonymous the only reason Matthew uses kingdom of heaven because he's writing to a Jewish audience and because God was so holy, they would not just say his name flippantly. So instead of saying kingdom of God, Yahweh without the vowels, he changed it to kingdom of heaven so his Jewish audience would not be offended. As a genius author. He said the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy. What? He goes and sells. He's talking in an era where there are no banks. There are no financial institutions. There is no Bank of America. Good no morning, my loves. We but are back in America, no America, as you guys can see. So you guys may have been wondering what happened. Like, what did Jamaica vlog? Where's the rest of the vlog or whatever? Well, I am about to explain. Hello. Dominic is not in school. Today is Tuesday, April 9. And we are back home. We got home yesterday. Yeah. I know you guys haven't seen me vlog a couple of days while I was in Jamaica. I didn't vlog 
about three four days Since and uh, that is because surprise huh? i wasn't okay like i met in a little accident <laughs> with babe scar it was not it, it wasn't anything to like damage his vehicle or anything this is going away thank god it still looks dark but i got this scrub from my friend from Trinidad. it's a turmeric scrub i'm gonna be using it so we'll see how you know how it works for me and stuff but yeah i got in a little accident guys like i don't know i told you guys told you trash. i told you guys that i was never driving in jamaica but then I had no choice because babe didn't get day off until the Friday. So I had to go and pick up my my, my friend the Thursday. I drove the Thursday morning and everything. Oh, you only know, me from Thursday. I From Thursday? Or I don't remember. But I drove the Thursday morning, everything from St. Thomas. I went to pick her up in Kingston. Everything was good. Coming back, my friend drive to the Airbnb. And when I was leaving the Airbnb to go back to St. Thomas, I was driving th through New Kingston. And like there were so many road works on this works on the road. And what I hate is that every time you drive in, there's so many vehicles on the side of the road. I don't know how to like, you know, I'm not used to babes car, so I don't know how to like say, okay, can I fit here? Or and because I I'm also a right on driver, my my steering wheel is on the right, on the left, there is on the right. So I'm kind of leading to the left when I should be leading to my side, which is the right. And, you know, it was kind of just new. And I was just all over the place a little bit. I was trying to keep myself together, knowing that, okay, whatever. But at the same time, my friend said, girl, you're driving on the left. And not not on the left side of the road, as in I wasn't on my right side, which I was should be driving. Because, you know, here we drive on the right side of the road. In Jamaica, they drive on the left. But because I'm a left on left hand driver, I was more leaning to the left when I was driving on the left. You feel me? She was saying, "Girl, you driving on the left." I was like, uh. and then she started driving because in Trinidad they also drive on. They have also right hand steering wheel. And then when I was going back, I was still leaning a little bit too, too much towards the left, so I scraped up his rims because there was some road work in the road and the. the place to go through was so small and i'm like okay if other vehicles going through it i can go through it too but i wasn't leaning on my side which is on the right side of the road i'm doing on the left because i'm used to the left and i, I scraped up his rims and everything and then the car just stopped in the middle of the road and i was like i wasn't freaking out but i was like oh my god what do i do now because there's a lit a, a long traffic behind me and then i don't know what to do and I wasn't panicking, but I just called him and I said, hey, the car shut off. What should I do? And whatever. I turned it off. I turned it on. It was still not whatever. And then he told me what to do. And then he was like, just go back and I'll get a ride. Come to Kingston. I was like, nope. I'm already coming. I'm mean, not turning back. I'm going to drive to St. Thomas. And from I felt some type of way because, you know, me never yet lick up my car. And I know when I know to my car. And I didn't make brand new rims them the way I'm by. And I'm like, uh. so from that, I kind of went into a little shell and then that was it i just couldn't take up myself to take up the phone to record again because i started having a lot of mixed emotions i started having like anxiety again and i was just you know all over the place in my own little head and then you know carnival we did we did good we did absolutely good in carnival the faces came out we worked on time we were shipping out in an hour we were doing clients back to back. I think we end up doing the two of us do end up doing eighteen clients in total. Eighteen to nineteen clients in total. From four o'clock to about twelve o'clock there about. So we did good. I am proud of my team. And we are going to send Vincent next. I just want to come and close out the close out this vlog to let you guys know that I am home. My suitcase is still at the door. Um this time I got two bottles of rum cream instead of one. Remember the last time I got one and that one could not last me for any long time. But this time I made sure I got two and it's two big ones. I don't think I think the first one was a little bit small, I think. I don't remember. But let me see if I can open this up and show you guys. Today, I didn't send the money to school. I was gonna, but I didn't because I realized I don't have any food in the house. Not just any food, but I don't have no juice, no nothing to send them to school with. 
so we are gonna i'm gonna start a new vlog today we're gonna go to sam's and stuff like that i'm gonna create my shipping labels and stuff to ship my orders so i got two of this one two and this can serve me until whenever i go back to jamaica so yeah um there's nothing in the fridge why are you opening it the thirsty some water there we don't have any water either just that one drink and left water see the right so so we're gonna go to sam's we're gonna do a little bit of shopping not nothing much because i'm on a budget and i'm gonna start up my orders to ship them today i'm gonna do a little bit sitting down now finishing up some praise and worship like getting because in jamaica I, I didn't really like spend a lot of time with god and everything like that so i'm gonna do that now um it was so good seeing my son like he's so tiny not tiny but he's so small and he's so squishy and he's so sweet and i miss them i really do miss them so that's that for jamaica jamaica was a success i can say jamaica was a success do you guys see all my edges just come back not even want to pull it up listen i don't know why you guys sleeping on my ear growth serum but my ear growth serum is working for me and i'm pretty sure it'll be working for other people as well i left some in jamaica i got some orders in jamaica so i dropped those off still have one girl to pick up and i'm excited about that so you know my serum listen if you don't remember good enough or from la from of kai from 2022 my edges were gone now your girl have edges and my edges aren't weak my edges aren't thin anymore the big old boss what they did in yourself so, that grew back completely grow back i'm gonna exaggerate i have been using other ear growth serum on the semi god target and buy that brand over and over if you really are watch me y'all see me buy that ear growth oil in target more than once not even target alone on a semi been using that the back of my ear grow back the look of picture patchy with the runner so in a runner so the more it's growing back and that ear growth oil never worked for me not not gonna say mine never work for everybody but that one never worked for me so i guess mine can also not work for some people but just to say this has worked for me i'm excited i am so happy that it act is actually working for me so y'all can grab one on my website i'm gonna change my, my website to shopify so i can connect it to youtube the one i'm using now cannot connect to youtube unfortunately but anywho i'm gonna go because and I, I can't let the day be done and i don't get everything that i want to get done so thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i know you guys didn't get the entire jamaica but if you want to, i'm gonna post some clippings of carnival like vlogs and stuff so connect to my social medias my tiktok is shiny beauty artistry my personal instagram is shiny.xoxo my business instagram is shiny beauty artistry as well and beauty spell with an e at the end is b-e-a-u-t-e -E and not b-e-a-u-t-y okay so and my website is www.shannybeautyartistry.com as well remember b-e-a-u-t-e -E, not b-e-a-u-t-y and shani is s-h-a-n-i-e artistry spell just the same way or artistry spell Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and see you in next week's vlog. I love you guys so much. Oh, don't forget to like this video, comment, interact in the comment section, share this my YouTube with a friend, let them subscribe, and remember to stay goal-oriented, keep your eyes on the prize, do what you need to do to get yourself in order, big up God all the time, stay true to you, stay true to what you believe in, love yourself, love yourself. But I care nobody wants to say about you. Yes, we are human, it's gonna affect you sometimes. But just try and stay grounded and focus on what is important. And yeah, make up you. Bye guys. See you guys in the next video.